Hi everyone, it's Ruby and Rainy and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video we are going to be doing an acrylic painting challenge where we will be painting plants. I'm very excited to do this actually. <laughs> We're really excited to be doing another painting challenge mm -hmm. and we really enjoyed the last one we did and we got loads of positive feedback on it. If you want to see that video, it will be in the description. It's a lot like this one, so yeah, yeah make sure to go check it out. For this video, we're both going to be painting on one of these canvases. They're the same size and they're just bigger than A4. And we're going to be using these paints because they have the best range of colours and they're really good paints. Mm -hmm. And they're acrylics. Yeah. But we don't know yet what plants we're going to be painting mm. or what style we're going to be painting them in. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that. <laughs> Me too. So we have the first round and these are three cards here. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that this round's plants, but it could be something else. Let's find out. So the things we have are climbing plants, trailing plants, or succulent plants. We say plants differently, by the way. It's plants. Plants. I've picked up a Cornish accent, okay? <laughs> anyway, so climbing plants, this is any type of plant that will climb up something or will stick to something. So for example, monstera plants, they tend to climb up things. Trailing plants is very similar, except I think the main categorizing agent here is the fact that it wouldn't stick to something. It would just kind of trail down. Succulent plants are kind of like statuary plants, I guess this only really includes succulents though, so. I have no idea what I want to pick for this. Me mm -hmm. neither. I have like five plants in my room, Ready has a lot more. So I think we should go upstairs and have a look. Actually, Actually not just upstairs, all around the house, because there's loads of plants all around the house we could do as well. Most of them in my room. Hey guys, so I have transported into my room now. I have a couple of plants in my room. I think altogether I have like five plants. It really has a ton, but I actually don't really know the names to any of them, to be honest. I kind of just buy ones I think are pretty and then get ready to tell me how I need to take care of them. This is the first one. Really actually bought it for me and it's so cool. It's shiny. I don't know if you can see, but it has glitter on it. Like it's such a cool thing to paint, but there's so many leaves that I just don't know if it's gonna be ages to paint. Then I have this one. I don't really know what's happened to this one. It's kind of flattened and I don't know why. It's a really, really nice plant, but I feel like it's just a bit flat. Then I have this one, which I think is absolutely awesome. It's been passed down generations from my dad's side, but it's so cool. It's got pink, the bottom. So that's a really nice one. Then I have two other ones. It's just a little spider plant. It's some of the little cuttings. And then this aloe. Okay, I'm now in the conservatory. But there's some really cool plants in here. I'm gonna show you the hanging plants. This is the first one and it's so pretty. It's actually a pink plant. So that's probably one of my options. This is the other one, which is so cool. It's a spider plant in a pot, obviously a hanging plant. I absolutely love this one. It's so pretty. It's got little flowers on them. And this one, which is really like, it reminds me of like geometric. Two others, which are really nice. Got loads of plants in the living room. <laughs> right. I've just entered my bedroom. You can probably already see a lot of plants. So what I'm thinking is I want to either do a climbing plant or a trailing plant. I've got a few plants in mind. This is a Monstera Deliciosa plant. It's kind of like a baby one because I accidentally broke it. So it kind of had to fix itself. This one's really beautiful. It's a chain of hearts plant. And I think it'll be quite fun to paint. So that one's an option as well. I've got this one, it's Ivy and this is a trailing and a climbing plant. A Monstera adesonii plant here. It's like a monkey leaf thing. As you can see, I've got a lot of plants on the floor by my window right now. That's because I'm planning on hanging them soon. But I also have a Dracaena palm tree. I might paint, but I don't think this is gonna be the one I pick. I own two begonias. This is one of them. It's a cutting from a plant that my dad got as a cutting from when he had 20 years ago. And it's kind of a bit of a family heirloom now. I also have this ruby begonia, it's got flowers on, it's very pretty. So we're both back now, we've had a look at the plants around our house and we've actually picked a couple like options. Yeah, I've had a look at a lot of mine and I've kind of narrowed it down to two categories so it's gonna be decided based on what you pick. Wait, can we do tic-tac-toe first? Ready? Go, go again. Tic-tac-toe, give me a high, give me a low, give me a three in a row. Johnny got shot by you, so. Oh, Yay. <laughs> I won. <laughs> right, so the categories that I'm choosing between are trailing plants and climbing plants. 
I did think about succulent plants, but I, I only need to use a succulent plant. But I only have one in my bedroom and I don't want to paint it. Both these categories overlap, but I do have one that kind of is exclusively in one of the categories. So I'm gonna pick climbing. Yes. Good? Yeah. Okay, so actually I was going to choose between these two, but mm -hmm. the three options to have two of them are in the, the trailing category, so I'm going to choose this one. Trailing, yeah. So, we've both got our plants, now they are hidden so we can't see them. <laughs> I can smell yours. <laughs> Mine stinks. Well, on that note, we're going to show each other our plants. Three, two, one. Oh, I saw that in your room. This is my begonia. Oh wait, I have the same one. Yeah, basically this plant is like a family heirloom. Both Ruby's and mine are cuttings from my dad's plant. Mine is in this pot and there's a lot of crystals on the base at the moment. And this one's doing really well, so I blame it on the crystals. Mine isn't really doing as well as yours. <laughs> Close your eyes. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, it's really. Oh my goodness, it's flowering. Okay, so I take you're doing the spider plant. Yeah, but I'm not going to draw the flower because that's like really like. Yeah. Wide. Yeah, this one's been overwatered. Fun fact when you overwater plants, especially spider plants, they tend to go more yellow in colour. Another telltale sign is if it absolutely stinks. So, my dad hung up the um, spider plant now and he also took out some of the water so it doesn't smell as bad. And now we can do the rest of the rounds. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Close up. Hold. All these. Ah, so it's like the part of them we're doing. What, how much of it we're painting. You ready? This isn't going to be easy. I win yet again. Um, you fun do. fact, I don't want to do hole. I, it's not, it's between the other two. Good? No. Oh, sorry. Um, right, so what I want to do, like what I want to achieve with this, a close up of the leaves. Mm -hmm. And I think that is more likely to go under the category of leaves than close up. So I'm gonna pick leaves. Okay. I'm really happy because you're going to do the one I want straight away. So I picked whole and I actually tricked you. I was saying like, I said no because I Oh no, I knew you wanted whole. I could tell in your face. Um, I picked whole because I feel like if I do anything else, it's not going to look that good. Mm -hmm. Like with the hanging plant and all of it, I feel like it looks better with all of it in and I don't have to do it like really big. Kind of reminds me of a spider. It's called a spider plant for a reason. Okay, so we've got cards again and go. Modern stylized. Cool, so like in the style of pop art or modern? Still life in context. So still life in the context of this. Botanical detail study. What is botanical? It tells you in the brackets actually. Detail study. <laughs> yeah, detail study. Rock, paper, scissors. Scissors. Oh, oh, I beat you yesterday. I scissors. I know what I want to do. I want to do still life in context. It's kind of a mix between the two, but it means I can do it in my own art style and it's just visually like I'll be doing this. Okay, so I knew you'd pick that to be honest. And I wanna pick modern stylized because I wanna do like a Ooh. pop art type theme. Oh yeah. Because I, I feel like that. with this doing like block colors is gonna make it a lot easier. Okay, final one. You've got a piece of paper. I already know what I was gonna say, I don't even have to look at it. Or we have metallic markers. Thank you. Anyway, you didn't do that. Sure. I was actually thinking about that for the last three minutes. So I'm going to pick no metallic marker because I would have picked metallic marker, mm. but I feel like I always use them at some point. I would have picked no metallic marker, but I think for my painting, I think silver is going to work best. You're the best option between gold and silver for yours, I would mm. say that. So we have all of our materials now and we know what we're painting and what techniques we're using. Mm -hmm. And we're doing this in the same format as we did last time where we have four different sections and we go on and reveal them in between. It's a lot easier that way as well, mm -hmm. so then we see yeah. all the development. Now we're going to do step one and this is drawing out the outlines. Um, you can do this in pencil or paint and it's just to get the composition right. I will be using paint. I will be using pencil. Now finished. I will say it's quite strange painting on a small canvas. I usually paint on bigger canvases. I'm enjoying it. It's finally finished. Well, not the whole thing, but no, the I mean, first drawing. Yeah. 
I feel like the drawing is quite an important, it's a very important part of mine. And then the painting is just like blending it all together. For me, what I do in the beginning just works as a rough guide. By the end, the lines will be in completely different places. I'm not done yet. <laughs> I will be though. So I finally just finished. Mm -hmm. Ruby took quite a bit more time than me, but I assume that's because we're doing different styles. You know how it's supposed to be just a dry, kind of like do mine how I want it to be, mm. like quite a lot. Okay, so here is what mine looks like. Oh. Yeah, this is all I need to draw for the base. Is that one leaf? They are all leaves, there are three. Honestly, I get, I get what it's gonna look like, so <laughs> it's, there's not much about the beginning. This is how it needs to be for me, though, in the style I'm doing it. It's an outline. What about yours? Mine's not an outline. It's literally a full-on drawing. Whoa! Okay, yeah. See, different approaches here. Cool. I think with the um, these leaves, though, on here, like, I kind of like that. I think I'm going to probably, like, because it's proper, I might do, like, yeah. certain ones. Nice lips. Very nice lips. Pretty perfect. The next stage of this drawing is to put some colour in shapes. This shouldn't take very long. Mine's gonna be very flat and like block colours anyway, so I feel like this is quite a main part for me. This isn't the main part for me yet. <laughs> when is your main part? <laughs> Never. Uh, third, fourth. Now I'm actually getting paints out. I just realised that one of the sides of my pot is like bigger than the other one and like cockeyed a little bit but we'll deal with it. The thing about the style of pop art is it's easy to paint what's on the painting part if you sketch the entire thing out perfectly proportional but if not it can be a bit frustrating. Brush break. I've just finished. Oh my gosh, no. I'm nowhere near finishing. So I'm gonna carry on, I'm finish mine up, and then we'll see you for the finishing of the second category. Okay, we have both just finished our second stage and Ruby took so much longer than me for this one. I think it's the art style. Yeah. Mine right now is still kind of sketching out where everything is, to be honest. But anyway, here is what mine looks like. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it's cool. This is what it's meant to look like at this stage. You probably saw a with the apple one, but this is like a massive, massively the base of mine, I think, because we're doing different styles. You ready for yours? Yeah. Whoa, okay. That's why it took so long. That's looking good. I can see how you sectioned it as well. So this is mine with like the base of the painting on. All I really need to do now is add tones and a few highlights. It looks really good. I like it. At the moment, it's a little bit blocky. I know I want it to be blocky, but it's like some of it's not mm. perfect. So I need to do that next. Cool, can't wait to see. Now we're on to the third part, which is textures and toes. This stage in my case describes the form of the, well, in its leaves in this part. In my case, at least. Yours will probably be different because you're doing pop art. With mine, I have to add like the white in like the middle of all of the leaves. Nice, let's go. Okay, so I am about halfway through section three now, and it's getting quite late, and I need mine to dry before I can add more. Me too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back tomorrow to these images, and then finish this section, and then show it to you. So we'll see you all tomorrow to finish this off. Yep. So it's now the next day, and we have had time away from our paintings. They're dry now, and we're ready to carry on working on them. 
So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and tidy up the colors to make the lines look more precise. I need to add a lot more colors to mine to show the different tones and textures. 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 <laughs> a white Posca pen which I'm really happy about and I also found it in this little like supply box with these <laughs> like paint brushes. I can add it on to my painting in the white places because it makes it a lot more like pop arty. Yeah it's quite clean as well isn't it? Yeah like really smooth and precise and straight. <laughs> I've decided I'm going to paint a background to make it pop more and just add more colour to it. So I made this really, close your eyes, I made this really pretty colour, it's like a sunshine pastel yellow. And I'm going to use this on the background, yellow and blue look really good together. Phase three and my painting has definitely changed so much since the last round and since all of you last saw it properly. For this round I've had to put a lot of work into it. And I really love mine at the moment. I feel yeah. like the yellow background has changed it completely. It's made oh, it a lot yellow. more like pop party. Now we're gonna show all of you and each other. These paintings are pretty much finished. It's just highlights left. So this isn't the final piece, but they've changed a lot. Three, two, one. <laughs> It's so cool because that's in front of They're it. They're so similar, aren't they? That looks good. I like the yellow tone in the background of the white work. Yellow definitely changed it because it looked like too bland before. Mm. It didn't have much to it. That must not have been easy to do in a pop art style. So I have to say that this took ages mm. to do it. It was yeah. very difficult. And when you look at the spider plant, you would think that's really easy. My top tip for anyone wanting to paint a spider plant though is obviously they have loads of leaves and I decided to try and bet every single leaf. But if you want to do it pop art style, I need to do a couple of leaves because it still looks good and like it's so much easier. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, whoa! Whoa, that's so good! Thank you. I should know what you need to add to that. Some lighter highlights. Wait, let me see. Oh my gosh, when you haven't seen it since, like it was just yeah. like, it was literally just a line of like colors last time. That is, no, I'm so very surprised. surprised. Do you think, what do you think? I think Actually, yeah, that is pretty good. When I saw it, like, I thought because you're doing, like, three leaves, it would be quite bland. But mm. no, there's so much texture and, like, colours. Yeah, that's the key. You've got to look at them individually. It's really good. Thank you. Now on to the final aspects of our paintings, which is the highlights and details. In my case, I'm going to put some highlights on it and I've also got a silver Posca pen that I'm going to incorporate in. For me, I'm going to be adding highlights to my basket and my pot. So we'll see you all for the final reveal. We finally finished and we've tidied up the area and I'm excited to show you at the end. Yeah, me too. But we quickly want to say this took so long to do. It took mm -hmm. the course of like two days, obviously not the whole days, but it took the course of two days. If you're planning on doing this, then make sure to fit it into your time. Yeah, make space for it. I'm going to show Rayleigh first. Okay. Three, two, final reveal. One. Whoa! Okay, the highlights. Yeah, they, it off. they really changed it, I've got to say. I'm like, this looks like, like, you know, the, oh my goodness. You know what it reminds me of? Those things you like put your, like, the drum things. Bongo drum. Yeah. That's a really, that's a cool image. I like it. So I'm going to show you all now, and obviously the practice, so you'll be able to compare it. Okay. Three, two, one. I actually love it. I feel like the Posca pen has completely changed it, even like, it was a teeny bit of Posca pen and it's made mm. it so much better. But yeah, here it is, the spider plant. Pop art themed of this. 
just with stripes instead of like circles. Looks good. So here it is, as you can see why I added to it was I put a Posca pen, a white Posca pen on the right side of each of the ropes as a highlight and like a light beam and then just to make it more 3D as well and make it more like pole party. I love the, yeah, I think it really changes it and I actually might put this in my room, I'm not sure if it will fit with my room but if not then it will go around the house somewhere. That tone of yellow is really pretty. Yeah, it's, it's like a lemony one. Are you ready? Yes. Three, two... One. What? Wow. Whoa. It looks like that one except like different shades of colours. Mm -hmm. Cause like, yeah. that's more yellow than red. Yeah. But I love it's I thought you were just in between these, but like it's a whole nother level. <laughs> Thank you. Aw. Three, two, one. So this is what I painted. This is the begonia plant that is right here. Or my own interpretation of it at least. I obviously did a lot of greens and there's a blue background and it's looking good. It's really, really good. Um, this one has changed a bit because I put the silver Posca pen on some of the highlights to kind of bring it all together and finish it off. You did? I did, yeah. yeah. Ah, I didn't even see them. There are like a few lines around here. They're, they actually everywhere. make it nice. Thank you. I'm very proud of this painting. I do really like it and I'm happy with how it turned out. It's really good. Here's what it looks like on a wall. I think painting plants is a good thing to do. It can be nice gifts and the plants in themselves are also nice gifts. So these are our final plant paintings. Make sure you head over to the community page and comment what you like most about them both. And comment what video ideas you want us to do if that's art or anything else in mm -hmm. general. Or what you'd like us to paint. Okay, we hope you enjoyed our video and our paintings that we created. We have two shout outs for this video. First shout out goes to Beatrix who emailed us some paintings. Here they are, they look really, really cool. Thank you so much. The second shout out goes to Leiba, sorry if I mispronounced your name, who actually tagged us in some of her really, really good watercolored artwork. Here it is, it's really, really good and you should definitely go check out her account. Laiba also has an art Instagram account, which is over here. Make sure to go check it out. It's called Art by Laiba. So that is the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching and we really hope you've enjoyed. We love you. Bye. Bye. And we really enjoyed it as well. Yeah. Or what style we're going to be painting. So mm. that's going to be a cool surprise. <laughs> I've forgotten how to do it. So we finally finished our paintings now. They've taken a while, but they're looking Pretty. Well, mine's looking pretty cool. Do you want to move that? <laughs>